My name's Evie, I'm 11, and my question is, when a pitcher throws a curveball, what's the science behind how it curves? I'm Clint Sprott, an emeritus professor of physics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and you ask a very good question about how a curveball works. Imagine that this ball is moving through the air, so that relative to the ball, the air is moving past it. Now, if the ball is also spinning, like this, that causes the air below it to move faster, and it slows down the air above due to the friction with the ball. Now there's an effect predicted by Daniel Bernoulli who lived in the 1700s. Uh, he said that when a fluid is flowing rapidly, its pressure is reduced. And so the Bernoulli effect says that there is less pressure on the bottom of the ball than there is on the top. And so as it spins, it has a downward force that adds to the downward force due to gravity. However, the Bernoulli effect is not the, the primary reason that a curveball curves. The more important effect is one due to a physicist named Gustav Magnus, and he lived in the mid-1800s, and he studied this effect, and he thought that the uh, important effect was that the air being dragged around by the, by the ball is released on the backside going in an upward direction. Now, just like a rocket, if something is shooting off that direction, that pushes the rocket in the opposite direction. Newton's third law of motion. And that's the Magnus effect. And of course, uh, this happens no matter which way the ball is spinning. If it is spinning this way, then there is an upward force on the ball. Uh, per perhaps not enough to overcome gravity, but enough to make it curve slightly upward. And of course, spinning this direction will cause it to move that way. And of course, this effect also happens with ping pong balls, you've probably seen that, and tennis players make great effect of this with their overhand spin, which causes the ball to dip downward and to bounce at a very low angle. The rule is, whichever way the ball is moving, uh, the face of the ball that is in the direction of motion, whichever way that is moving is the way the ball will curve. That's why a curve ball works.